Hello and welcome back to the channel Smart Fishing UK and today we're going to be going over the Navionics Platinum Plus with the chart shading and I'm just going to introduce you, we're very welcome, um, Lance here from Navionics UK Hi, well. and Jim a feature writer from Saltwater Boat Angling Magazine. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over how the chart shading come about and then we're going to show you how to operate it. Um, and then uh, move on to where it's going. So Lance, thank you very much for coming down today and being with us. Um, first of all, how did the chart shading come about? And if you could give us a bit of a background behind it. Okay, sure. Uh, well, if I can perhaps reflect on how we started here with Platinum Plus. Yes. Um, what we have within the charts are our standard nautical chart, which is the, na the foundation of Navionics, basically. Um, uh, and in addition to that, we can switch over to um, from 2D to 3D. We can also then introduce our sonar chart layer, which is our high-res contours that we've had for uh, the last four or five years now, um, which are basically half-meter contours that you can have that full uh, high visibility, um, high density, medium density, low density, depending on how you want to have the uh, contour showing. Uh, you can also then introduce our overlay layer. Within our satellite overlay layer, we have something called sonar chart shading which is a, a very easy way to be able to discriminate to, between varying depths of, uh, of water. So in vi uh, using shades of blue from the uh, dark blue being uh, deep water, uh, light blue being shallow water. And, and, and I'll be honest, we've, we've had a play with that and uh, we, we were very fortunate to use it down in Sulcombe, funnily enough, and we found it such an, ad an advantage to, mm -hmm. to finding those niche locations. So yeah, yeah. We, we've had a play. We don't vouch to be a pro with it, but we're learning and it's an amazing piece of equipment so far. Yeah, we had a similar experience when we did the uh, Barracuda tour in uh, May of this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, well, I'm pleased to say our teams won both the competitions well there, done, which was, yeah, great. was great. And this was uh, a heavy use of sonar chart shade during the competition so that really brought it home to us how uh, what success we feel this is going to be yeah and that's great that's yeah. really good and, and it's, it's great to see that the, the development with the with the sort of technology and then amalgamating it into the sort of fishing world and and it's really really from my personal experience it's transforming um, marks and being able to use different fishing marks which is great yeah I, I can confer with that because we I've used the original chart uh, yeah. regularly for fishing we then put on the um, the extra dimension, which you, yeah. uh, uh, which gave us amazing uh, information for marks we've used for years, not realising that we why we're on the marks. You could see yeah. by the, the galleys and the, the contours, but yeah. now with this overlay, um, where you're able to pick out the spot that's deep without having to check on all the little ice bars on the marks. Absolutely, Jim. I think it's going to make things really helpful You're for absolutely fishing. right. Looking for new marks is so important with fishing. I mean, you get bogged down on the same old mm. marks. Mm. If you can go to a bit of ground where nobody fishes because there's a certain gully or a you know, yes. yeah. feature, yeah. yeah. But, well, this is what the sonar chart, when we introduced sonar chart, this was what this that, it that was, was doing. The one that, that made was the big difference. That was the yeah. big difference. But this but is taking it an even step it, further. It, exactly. It's but, uh, but for so many anglers like myself who are perhaps not technically um, up to date, yeah. if you can show us how to get to that point, Sure. and to make use of it, it would be terrific. Yeah, I think we can, we can just go through the, the straightforward nautical chart setting, we can switch over to sonar yeah. chart, given the high res contours, and then we can introduce sonar chart shading overlay on top of that, either yeah. with or without the, the contours showing, and you yeah. can see the varying how the varying shades uh, yeah, of blue give you this uh, this uh, differential to be able to view and see where the the good fishing spots are going to be. Yeah. Right. Okay. So should we um, go over some of the settings and hopefully we can share that with you guys at home? Um, just how to um, to go through that. Okay. So first of all, um, I'm going to put turn it to 3D. So simple button. Yeah. So as you can see, this has basically moved us from uh, looking down on top of the chart like that, right. 2D, which is the, the normal way. Um, other peop some people like to have it in a 3D view, just like yeah. you can in the car. Mm -hmm. I, I personally quite like it. So you move from 2D to a perspective view, 3D. So that's what this is going. So that's why we can see a bit more of the coast yeah. here. Yeah. So that's a, a one simple thing there. Right. So we just go back through. So um, come back, go into more options, chart options. I'll come down and I'm going to put on sonar charts. 
There we go. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Big difference. Right, so Jim, this yeah. is the... Uh, this is the one we've been using the last couple of years yeah. on our boat that's made such a difference. Yeah. Finding, like some of the marks that are shown on the chart there, the blue spots, you, you can now see why they fish yeah. well because there are yeah. gullies where the fish move through or they're a peak and a bump. But sonar but, chart, when we introduced that Jim, as you say, oh. I think it's about four or five years ago now, it, it, uh, it's kind of revolutionised fishing actually. It was a yeah. major, ch made, it was it, a game changer it was a for big us. Step up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you? so this is the maximum density now. So yeah. these, remember, these are half metre contours that we've got running on right. here. Um, now, if you don't want to have so many contours, you can change the settings okay. there too. Okay, so I drop, just drop down to high. And that takes right. out some of the controls. Yeah. yeah. And yes. just come down to the next layer, perhaps. Uh, medium. Yeah, well, there's medium, it's and then amazing. if you take it down to low. Wow, look at the that. The whole point, you get okay. just so, different information. Absolutely. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, that's right. You're so, struggling when you're looking at that chart, but Bob, yeah. the high res, I mean. Yeah. So remember, just to recap, we started just on our nautical chart. Yeah. And then we've then switched to sonar chart, the half meter contours, right. and here is at low density. And if we switch back up to uh, medium, medium, there we go. There's slightly more yep, contours. Yep. And if you really want to have a closer look, you go to high. Put on high. There we go. In comes some more, and then to uh, the very high. The last this setting. is the the last setting. This is the maximum uh, high right. density half meter contours. Okay, so should we um, move it on a little bit and now introduce this um, this new chart, sonar chart shading because I'm 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 falling in love with this. Well, I've not chart. seen it, so I'm looking forward to well, seeing the you, difference. Let's, let's show you, Jim. Shall, shall I bring it on? Yeah, Johnson. sure. The sonar chart shading is part of our satellite overlay. Yes. Um, so if we bring that yeah. in, so come up to here. Um, we're going to put um, shading on. Um, and then we're going to turn up the, um, so currently we're on, you can overlay it, so it's currently on no overlay, we turn it all the way up to full. There we are, wow. at a glance now, so this yeah. is without uh, any contours showing themselves, but the contours are being discriminated by varying shades of blue. Mm -hmm. This is what sonar chart shading is, yeah. so if you look at the, uh, the dark blue of the deep waters, you know there's going to be that, that's going to be deep yeah. there yeah the, uh, the 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 small channels uh, where there may be troughs and gullies that yeah. you would with sonar chart you would see those by looking at the contours this is giving you a very quick discrimination quick without so having you can to study the whole chart it, it, and find the gully yeah it, exactly they're picking them out for you it, exactly yeah. that's and, what it's doing and straight away you can clearly see that the, i mean this is a, a mark just off of beachy head um, and without even looking at the at the um, the, the uh, chart lines and all the bars, you can straight away see, see there's a lovely, lovely little gully there. It looks like yeah. a big bowl almost, well, doesn't it? Well, I think there's so a beachy head ledge and then a, a deeper hole behind yeah. it, isn't no, it? Well, yeah. It, it, yeah. it makes it so much easier to it identify is. these now, marks. Well, can you adjust that? Depth of colour? Yes, you can. And, right. and Jim, just understand, you know this area, so yeah. you know that there I, is a I ledge see, there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is uh, is yeah. an easy well, way. To every, everybody talks about it. the deep hole, and, and it shows up clearly there with that dark blue. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. With, with, yeah. So yes, we can we can now play mm -hmm. around with the settings here, and this is the uh, maximum uh, opacity. So if we come, come back, come halfway. Mm -hmm. There. And there, there's the nautical yeah. chart underneath it. Yeah, okay. On. Now, in addition, then we can. That's in with nautical chart. Now we introduce sonar chart. Right. So perhaps sonar chart with the low density. Yes. We okay. Can switch yeah. that on, and yeah. then you can see how the, all the it's, information is building up in. step by step. Yeah, isn't it? that's yeah. right. Sonar chart is coming in. Okay, so we've now got sonar on low density. So let's put a few more lines in. Yeah. Yep. But, uh, but yeah, that's right. So we're seeing the shades of blue with the contours as well. Yeah. Um, if we switch it into uh, perhaps up to medium and then high and then to, okay. to very high to just go and through I'll, the stages. I'll leave, I'll leave the um, overlay about halfway. Yeah. So yeah. Um, currently on low is medium. You can yeah. see the contours coming. Additional yeah. contours coming. And then we go up to high. More contours and yeah. the very last, very high. Yeah, that does so, show it up yeah. so clearly, yeah. doesn't it? Exactly. So you've got you know. you've got all of the information shown there. Now, yeah. personally, I, with my experience has been that I quite like to have the uh, the more blue showing than and less uh, less contours. Let's you do know, that, yeah, do you? yeah, just adjust that slightly with the um, transparency and we'll transparent. just bring that down a bit so we can just we see are. the lines yeah. underneath. 
but we've yeah, got right. the, so now you, you we, we've got everything on here now yes. we've got uh, yeah, sonar chart shading and sonar chart underneath it mm. um i set at a transparency there of uh, it's about three or four percent i think yes yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah thanks ever so much um for coming down today guys um, jim and uh, lance and showing us um, and helping us go through the uh, sonar chart shading i think it's been um i think it's, it's it's been really good to understand it and hopefully share it with our viewers um so um other than that thank you very much